I'm here with Tom Grundy, who is the CEO of Hybrid Air Vehicles. Hybrid Air Vehicles have got a very distinct aircraft. I wonder, Tom, if you could explain a little bit about your aircraft. Yeah, well, Airlander is a hybrid aircraft. Uh, you can think about it as the world's most efficient, therefore the most sustainable large aircraft. It's 100 plus seats, it's 10 tons or more of cargo. Uh, like an eVTOL, it's got the ability to go and take off and land from places that aren't airfields. It doesn't need a runway. It can even land on water. The ability to unload passengers or freight really easily on the ground. And it's that efficiency that also gives the aircraft its low carbon credentials. And talking about the sustainable credentials, how fuel efficient is this compared to traditional aircraft? Well, in all the different uses, Airlander uses a, at most half the energy of other aircrafts that you could use to half the fuel burn, essentially. In many of those uses, it uses even less than that. The other thing is no contrails. And any emissions that are there are at a much lower altitude, which gets rid of some of the really big secondary effects that we see from CO2 emissions in the rest of aviation. So in terms of impact, when we get Airlander into flight, straight away, it will be 75% fewer harmful emissions than other jets flying those equivalent roles. So our next step after getting to that 75% reduction is to start incorporating electric motors and hydrogen fuel cells. That will get us down to 90%, so one tenth the emissions harm. Where we really are pushing for is to get to true zero, actual zero emissions in flight with 100 or more passengers. We want to get there by the end of the decade. What will it be like to fly on? Can you describe the, the, what that experience might be like? What people realise, I think, when they see that is this isn't like being on an aeroplane that we're used to. It's really quiet. The engine's not hard mounted to any of the structures. You don't get any of that vibration past it. It's going through our fabric envelope and there's a gas space inside that means that we don't get vibration and noise coming through into the cockpit. Um, in fact, um, on our prototype area, we've, we've flown this at full scale as a prototype and our, our pilots asked for cameras pointing at the motors at the engines because they wanted a visual indication of the engines returning because it's so quiet on board. So it's quiet, it's spacious actually as a passenger cabin uh, with 100 passengers on board. Each passenger is going to get much closer to business class space than the economy class that we're used to. Um, every seat is accessible to the aisle, so no being squeezed into the middle seat. Um, Passengers in wheelchairs will be able to get on and off with the chair rather than just go through all the processes that they do right now to get on board aircraft. Because of the way the aircraft flies, we can put much bigger windows on board so you can see from the horizon all the way down to uh, to right down underneath you. You're flying a little bit lower. Great views, quiet, nice place to be. Is there any other design features that you can explain for the aircraft? Well, the aircraft is a really interesting and deep package of technology, actually. One of the things that people are really surprised about is there's no framework inside. So people look at the outside of our aeroplane, they think there must be a rigid structure inside, but no, not at all. What we have is a very high tech fabric. It's like a composite material, like, like composite materials we have in hard composite structures, but this one's flexible. It's made of three different types of material. And what we do is create the whole shape of our aircraft using that fabric. We then put some air and some, some lifting gas inside and that gives it just a little bit of pressure. And the thing that really surprises people is the pressure of the gas inside is about the same as a half pint of water. But that's enough to create this rigid structure capable of carrying 10 tons or 100 passengers. And it makes the aircraft efficient, lightweight and very cost effective to operate. One of the things that I didn't understand is that the shape of the aircraft itself is a wing profile. The whole thing is shaped as a lifting body, it's a wing. So as it moves forward through the air, it generates about 40% of the lift that the aircraft needs it comes from that aerodynamic flow over the aircraft. The rest of it comes from the fact that that wing is filled with helium. So that just gives the aeroplane just this little head start against gravity. It's why it's so efficient. Tom, what's your timeline for bringing this to market? So we've got about a four year program to build a brand new production facility, which is going to be at a place called Carlcroft Common near Doncaster, South Yorkshire. The first three aeroplanes out of that facility will be flying all those safety tests that we've just talked about. And at the end of that, those aircraft will go into service after about that four year program. We'll have capacity then to deliver 24 of those a year into the market. That's about 1,200 people going to be working in that facility. It's about a billion pound a year program for our business. It's a billion pound a year exports from the UK. 
So that takes us to sort of 2028, 2029, when that's all up and running and we've got brand new whole aircraft production line here in the UK. That's fantastic. What kind of interest are you getting from people around, uh, organisations around the world? Well, we've built uh, just under one and a half billion pounds worth of aircraft reservations here already. That's from civil aviation customers, including Europe's largest regional airline, Air Nostrum. They're going to be deploying Airlander in Spain and across the Mediterranean region. We're also working with the Highlands and Islands of Scotland, High Trans, the transport agency there, to put Airlander 10 into Scotland for passenger and freight rollers. Alongside that, and over and above that reserved order book, we're working with defence customers like the United States Department of Defence. So more orders uh, we expect to be coming from defence customers there for use in logistics and surveillance roles. Um, and that's just the start. We've got a whole new category of aircraft here. First customers um, are through the door, reservations made, and we're working to scale up and deliver them now. Tom, Airland is a fantastic and exciting original proposition for an aircraft. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time to explain it to me today. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.